sneaking around the camp soapbox for another rant. And I think this one is very fitting since it's October, Halloween season, and uh, one of the uh, franchises uh, inspired by the Halloween movie is Friday the 13th. Now, this is, uh, I guess you could say, a third uh, installment a trilogy of sorts when it comes to Friday the 13th. First, we had Friday the 13th, the game rant. Then we had Friday the 13th, lawsuit rant. And in conclusion, Friday the 13th, lawsuit ruling rant. So, yes, we have a ruling regarding the fate of Friday the 13th. So, if you want to know what I'm referring to, feel free to check out the previous rant that I did back in July. That'll give you a better idea. We're just going to go over the cliff notes here. So, this article from bloodydisgusting.com, which is obviously quite popular for uh, horror genre. Some of you may have heard of this site. Horror Inc. Statement on future content in Friday the 13th, the game. So, Horror Inc., was in battle with the writer with the original Friday the 13th movie, Victor Miller. And it was just ruled a few days ago, and the judge actually ruled in Victor Miller's favor. But there is some caveats because it's all legal mumbo-jumbo. Now, if you want to know more about uh, the point of view for the uh, movie franchise, there's another article regarding this from Bloody Disgusting right there. So this article... Link below in the description section. That article linked in this article. I think you guys get the idea. So anyways, earlier this week, Blade discussed and shared a statement regarding the fate of the Friday the 13th court ruling from the franchise producer, Horror Inc. This led to many more questions than answers, although Horror Inc. helps to clarify the stoppage of new content in Gun Media's Friday the 13th, The Game. Okay, so this is what Horror Inc. has to say. The statement provided to Bloody Disgusting. We are disappointed in the court's ruling and disagree of its conclusion. We are considering our options, including an appeal. We understand that ruling has created confusion among some fans of the franchise, more specifically Friday the 13th, the game players, who have questions about new Friday the 13th content in the game. The court was very clear that its ruling in favor of Mr. Miller is limited to the original screenplay in which Jason's mother, Pamela Voorhees, is the killer and that Mr. Miller's termination notice did not purport to terminate in Horror Inc.'s separate copyright in the iconic supernatural killer who wears a hockey mask. While the ruling does not prevent Gunn from controlling the cell and operate the existing game, it may complicate adding certain content to the current game in the future. Some have asked if a settlement could be reached with Victor Miller to enable the creation of new content for Friday the 13th the game, even if Gunn were in a position to continue to fund the game while it was waiting for such questions to be resolved, there is no evidence to date that such a settlement is possible. Friday the 13th director Sean Cunningham has previously reached out directly to Victor Miller to discuss the settlement. Miller responded by refusing to talk to Sean. Work on the new content for fans was suspended because of the position that Miller has taken. Given Miller's unwillingness to discuss settlement to date and following the guidelines set down by the court's ruling, Har Incorporated intends to aggressively explore many opportunities for new projects featuring settings and characters not included in Mr. Miller's screenplay. Horror Inc. will be providing additional details on the new Friday the 13th projects in the near future, quote-unquote. There is no other information at this time, but Bloody Disgusting will continue to update as new information is revealed and shared with them. So feel free to check out this article and that article this one linked below in the description section. All right, so I'm going to try to simplify this for you the best I can regarding the ruling. I'm not a lawyer, even though I do watch Better Call Saul. <laughs> Victor Miller, screenwriter of the original Friday the 13th movie, who was hired by Sean Cunningham because he was inspired by John Carpenter's Halloween from 1978 to create his own movie franchise has won this ruling, and that means he won control over elements from the original Friday the 13th movie, including Pamela Voorhees, Crystal Lake, well, Camp Crystal Lake specifically, as well as young Jason Voorhees. And I think he has something to do with the national rights as well. However, for some reason, like Horror Inc. still retains international rights, And they have control over the adult Jasons, like Part 3 Jason, which is the Jason most of us know, the Jason that wears the iconic hockey mask, 
as well as part two Jason with the burlap sack. So there's technically two different Jasons now. So young Jason Voorhees, or maybe even the Voorhees name, Horink no longer has any control over. Friday the 13th, they can still technically use because that's not trademark or copyright. So they could go forward with movies or TV shows about Friday the 13th with a masked killer called Jason, but apparently he cannot be called Jason Voorhees. And this cannot include Camp Crystal Lake or Pamela Voorhees. Confusing, I know, but this also affects Friday the 13th, the video game, as mentioned in Bloody Disgusting's article, because as I pointed out in the lawsuit rant back in July, due to this lawsuit, which unfortunately included Friday the 13th, the game, they can no longer make content. Ilphonic, the original developers for Friday the 13th, have moved on, according to their Twitter Working on Friday the 13th, the game has been an absolute amazing experience for all of us at Alphonic. We've learned so much and have gained so many wonderful relationships in the past. Huge thanks to Fear the Gun and the community for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. And to further elaborate on this, we go to the uh, F13 game forums. And uh, this is what uh, Shifty Samurai says. A press release was sent out in regards to a shift in development partners for Friday the 13th, the game. Black Tower Studios out of Japan will take the lead to work on bugs and continue improving overall player experience. As such, now the work is on dedicated servers to complete. Ilphonic will transition away from development of Friday the 13th, the game, while Black Tower Studios will be picking it up. Black Tower Studios has worked with Ilphonic over a year on content and maps for Friday the 13th, the game. And they're confident of their ability to continue to support the game. Examples include assisting the creation of Pinehurst and the Jarvis House maps. Ilphonic will be moving on to different projects that are better suited for a full team. About Black Tower Studios, Black Tower Studios is located in Tokyo, Japan, comprised of industry veterans from around the world. Developers of Black Tower Studios have worked on a variety of AAA titles across multiple publishers. For the most part, it feels like Black Tower Studios is only focusing on being a cleanup crew, if you will, since they have work on the dedicated servers complete. Like Black Tower Studios will only be working on you know fixing the bugs and all the other you know problems that still persists regarding Friday the 13th, the game. So I get the feeling that the publisher, which is Gun Media, probably has no interest in getting into any more of that legal quagmire between Victor Miller and Horror Inc. So chances are we're probably not gonna see any more content from Friday the 13th, the game, which is something a lot of us feared all the way back in early summer regarding this lawsuit, which is sad because there's still plenty of people out there that support and play this game. And a lot of new people have come into Friday the 13th, the game on the PlayStation 4 because of it being free throughout October 2018 for PlayStation Plus subscribers. And what's really sad is I feel like without new content, even with dedicated servers, even with the bugs and glitches and issues fixed, or whatever ones they fixed taking care of, with probably plenty more for them to deal with, them being Black Tower Studios, as long as there's not new content added to the game or new clothing packs or new variations of Jason or new maps, like for example, the Uber Jason that they were working on, will they be in Ilphonic Games? Now scrapped, unfortunately, because of the lawsuit. While Friday the 13th, the franchise will most likely survive the lawsuit and settlement with Victor Miller. Unfortunately, I feel like Friday the 13th, the game's days, are numbered. However, as a loving mother once said to her hockey mask wielding son, you have a gift. And that gift is, no matter how many times they try to kill you, you can never die.